We're expecting 70,000 people in town and from about 35 different states are registered. For every year we get bigger and bigger and that's really exciting. I've heard rumors that hotels are booked from here to Finley and to Sandusky, so we have a great turnout. Favorite part of Jeep Fest is the Jeeps or the Jeeple? Oh my gosh, the Jeeple. I love Jeep people. There's such a camaraderie. I think there's nothing like it around the whole country. There's a reason there's a Jeep wave and there's a reason there's a Jeep ducking thing. I mean, people love Jeep. Over 6,000 people work at the Jeep plant right now, and there's 6,000 retirees that helped make Jeeps over the last 80 years. So when you talk about love for Jeep, I mean, the people are what makes it all happen. The Jeep all, yeah. I mean, I love the Jeeps, and I built the Jeeps, and I have a Jeep, but oh my gosh, the Jeep rolls. I mean, it's just awesome. Their solidarity amongst one another, their wanting to do for others. It's just, it's just a totally awesome feeling. You know, we start working on this in January, and we take a breath around November and then start all over. It is just amazing, all the puzzle pieces that come together for Jeep Fest. And people come down here for the weekend and say, hey, this is totally awesome that you pulled this off. Seeing all the other Jeeps and uh, talking to the people, we like the older Jeeps. I uh, got it originally from a family up in Ishpeming, Michigan, and it has 47,000 miles on it. How about you? Do you help with this? Um, or do you just I drive it? I here and there. I do not drive it. Ever. Oh, <laughs> there aren't too many people who've driven above me. <laughs> it's actually a parts vehicle for another rarer CJ8 project that I have, so it's destined to be torn apart, unfortunately. This is my daughter Stella. Hi. Stella, do you help with this stuff? Yes, she does. Yeah. She do does. you drive? You got her driving them yet? She is driving. She learned how to drive on that. Fully restored 1984 Jeep J20. It's got an 8,600 pound GVW, which is one of the heaviest they ever made. It's got a 67 front end, also known as the Rhino Chaser grill. So it's got an older grill. AMC 360 engine, 727 automatic transmission, four wheel drive, of course. Dana 44 heavy duty front axle and Dana 60 rear axle. Have you come, have you come to every Jeep Fest? Yes, I have. Have you been in every parade? Yes, I have. <laughs> this is fantastic. I've never seen a turnout like this. Usually it's just one or two guys out wheeling and that's it. Was this a big project or was it in pretty good shape? No, it's pretty good shape. We have quite a few about North Dakota. They use them for uh, farming. And so they, when the farmers get done with them, they push them into the hedgerows and we uh, pull them back out. There's no rust, there's no salt out there. After World War II, Jeep tried to retrofit their line to be farming equipment. So there's a lot of them that were that were you know put, literally put in barns. That's what this and, one was. Yeah. Now, do you take it off roading or is it oh, just yeah. a cruiser? You oh, do. Oh yeah, it gets speed on. We're here with library staff celebrating Jeep Fest with the rest of Toledo. It's an amazing time to be out. First time that we've driven a Jeep in the festival, so we're excited. When you think about Toledo, you think about Jeep. We have to embrace our history, so we know that we're headed. And uh, it's one of the things like this Jeep Fest is sort of a renewal of our history and, and bringing people back together. Who's Jeep? My Mama's. grandma's. This is grandma's Jeep? Yeah. Got it. The Jeep. The Jeep. Jeep. Oh, yeah. Of course. And Catwoman. And Catwoman. Yeah. Hey, Jeep happens. Hey,